Happy Halloween, my little Hanamaniacs. This shit just hit the fan, didn't it? Let's get this over with, shall we? Today we're taking a look at the final movie of my 31 days of Halloween for 2024. And this time, it's the 1997 film, Wishmaster. Oh my God, my Tolstam, this is not something you wish to see. Uh-huh. Very well. If you love 90s horror with a bit of a twist, this is the movie for you. Well, I'm not a mm, greedy man. How about a million dollars? Done. See? Oh, wait a minute. You forgot to fill in the beneficiary. How oh, silly. It's my son, Nick. <laughs> This film follows a sinister djinn who must grant wishes, but beware, these wishes come with a deadly twist. Andrew Divoff delivers a chilling performance as the djinn. His charisma makes him both terrifying and captivating, but it's not just about the scares. The film plays with the idea of how greed can lead to your downfall. And the special effects? Iconic for their time, the body horror to twisted transformations is a visual feast. And while the practical effects were impressive, the ambitious attempt to use CGI in the late 90s, while ambitious, fell a little short. As horror fans, we'll get a lot more out of this than just your average viewer. The film is full of cameos by horror icons. 1997's Wishmaster was the perfect movie to end my 31 days of Halloween with. It has the nice mix of horror, slight camp, and visual effects that you'd like in a horror movie from that time. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. One a day for 31 days was not the easiest thing in the world. It was a lot of fun. I got really busy during this month. I don't usually do that, but I had a great time. Thanks for watching this final video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give me a comment. What did you watch for Halloween? And until next time, this is your old pal, Hannibal Collector. Signing off.